Let's look at some uh, uh, pretty impressive numbers. Uh, the development of the last 10 years in mobile communications and in ICT in China. It's a lot about scale, of course, in China, but it's also a lot about dynamics, or dynamism. It's a lot about drive, and it's also a lot about innovation. So we're comparing year-end data 1999 with year-end data 2009. And then you can see the total number of mobile subscriptions was 43 million at the first date. And it grew, and it has, which represented 9% of the global mobile subscriber population. And it's grown to 747 mobile subscriptions at the end of last year, which then represents 16% of the global mobile subscriber base or subscription base to be exact. We look at internet, 8.9 million internet users, end of 99, representing only 4% of the global internet base. And as was mentioned earlier, end of last year was 384 million internet users, representing now 20% of the global internet population. In terms of 3G, of course, 99, no 3G yet. Uh, it happened well, last year, 325,000 3G base stations uh, deployed across China, uh, and, and virtually all of them in Poland, some, some uh, in TDS DNA, right to that. Out of the 384 million internet users, 233 million are mobile internet users. Then you should, of course, you first think about 3G, but you should bear in mind that uh, out of that base, it's 13.5 million only that is 3G. So there is a tremendous growth potential for mobile internet to take off now, really. And as was uh, mentioned very well by Bill Kwan, uh, the M2M market is now starting to take off. Mobile, uh, China Mobile is here having that, 4 million connections only by China Mobile. Now, of course, when we talk China, the government's involvement in driving programs is extremely important for growth and for sustainable growth. And there are some examples that, as part of the economic stimulus program, 400 billion Chinese RMB has been set aside for 3G over a three-year period, 09 to up to 011. Another program is 150 billion Chinese yuan or Chinese RMB set aside for FTTX. And then we also, uh, uh, previous speakers spoke about the Internet of Things, uh, very much driven by the central government. And interestingly, a very similar vision to Ericsson's 50 billion connected devices. It's of course also not just about the size and the rapid growth of the market, but it's also very much about China now becoming much more influential in shaping the global telecom market. Some examples of that you have on the top. Standards either uh, indigenous, innovated in China, or at least very much driven onwards by Chinese in the Chinese telecom industry. TDLCDMA, TDLT, both of them, of course, known to all of you. Another one is Wakti, which is a locally developed uh, Wi-Fi standard, Wi-Fi technology and standard. And this is mere repeat of what. Uh, my, the, my fellow speaker said, uh, of course, China Mobile is virtually driving an ecosystem of, of their own related to TDS CDMA with their, with their own developed uh, operating system, O-Phone, and with their own application store, etc. Same thing with China Unicom developing their own uh, app store. Two other interesting phenomena. Uh, Tencent, maybe not so known to all of you, but actually the third largest mobile internet player in terms of market cap, with a market cap end of last year of 39.5 billion US, with 1 billion 
active subscriptions and 100 million simultaneous online makes that a very powerful player in the mobile internet arena. And the largest online shopping website in Asia, Taobao, uh, which is now bringing shopping into e-shopping into your phone. So overall, I would say that if China is already today an ICT superpower, is going to be increasingly so in the future. There is a lot of innovation, there is a lot of players that are, are leading telecom play, leading global telecom players in China today in many fields, not just in terms of network equipment, but also in terms of applications, enablers and services. And there is a lot of innovation skills. Uh, Ericsson is proud to be an integral part of the China, te China's telecom industry and we are committed to contribute to drive this development further. Thank you very much.